In this session, we'll be adding some classes for our style sheet to make the form view look more elegant. We're going to restart the label and the selection and also the checkbox as well. In our project folder, open app access style sheet and application.scls. Now it's time to create a new style for label first. So I'm going to say label and here I'm going to create the color like this and the font size is 1.1em and font weight will be 500 margin bottom is 10 pixel now you can use the font size here you can use the pixel art if you want but in this case we're going to use the em which is more flexible next we're going to create a style for the select now for the Salix, we're going to create the styles like this. So nothing new here, we got a color, background color. The width will be 100%, which means it's going straight to 100% of the container contain the Salix element. Now for the border, we got one piece of solid and this color, auto radius and padding 10 piece of. Okay, so the really new thing here is those three lines, all right? So the appearance property is used to display an element using a platform native styling based on the user operating system then. That means if you open the website on a Mac, the selection would be different from the one opened in Windows. And that's why we need to turn it off to use our custom style. Now actually, these three lines do the same thing, but for Firefox, it's only support this. All right? And the same thing, the Safari and Chrome only support this. So that is why we need to combine those three lines to make sure that it's work in most of our major web browser. Now set the file. Restart the server and open the web browser. Go to localhost 3000, rooms and new. And here is what you have. Now if you click here, and it's easy for you to compare what was previously. So previously it's just like this, we got label and we got the selection just like this and now we got the label just in different style and also our selection in different style as well. So you no longer see it in the Mac style. Now it would be great if you can have an arrow here so it looks more a bit like selection. Let's do that. Now back to our project folder, we're going to create a new class named select and we're going to use pseudo element named before. Okay, so we're going to create a style just like this. So the content will be this. So this one means the arrow would be the down arrow, right? For the font size we say 1.2m. Position absolute and this is color. So because we got a position absolute, that means we set the top will be 40 pixel and the right 30 pixel. And the transform scale, this one scale on the X and this one scale on the Y. Now save it back to our web browser and hit refresh. Alright, so right away you can see the arrow here which is really nice. Let me explain a little bit about what's happening here in the style sheet. If you open the more tools, developer tools, and click on the search icon here, and we point to the arrow here. All right, if you click that and see that, here you got a B4, which is a pseudo code, and here is a select B4 as well. So now, if you want, you can manipulate your style here. So for example, I can change the color to whatever I want. So maybe the red one, yep, Let's change the red. And for the top, instead of say 40, I can say 10. Now you can see the difference for, okay. Now for the right, I can say 70, all right, or zero. Okay, so now you can understand those things. 
Now for a transform, if you say scale, maybe five or maybe one. All right, that's the other thing. And maybe you can change this one to whatever you want. 0 0.2 maybe, yep. So now you understand the meaning of this. That's very easily, right? Next, we're going to transform our checkboxes style as well. So in here, we're going to say input type equal checkbox, all right? And the style we're going to use just like this. Now very straight, we got a high, we got a width, margin bottom, margin right, vertical align, border, border radius, and again, the appearance, all right? So that means we don't want to use the default style of the operating system. Instead, we're going to use our custom style. Okay, save it. Back to our web browser and hit refresh. Okay, if we scroll a bit down, and now you can see the checkbox is different, all right? And now if you compare to the one that we had before, much, much different. Okay, the thing is, if we click on here, there's nothing happening. We want a tick icon here. So let's do it now. Similar to what we've done with the selection class here. Uh, next, we need to say input type equal checkbox. All right, and we're going to say when check it. We do the same thing. We're going to use the pseudo element before, all right? And we're going to create a content like this. So this content is a tick icon and position absolute. The font size, text aligned, we've got a width and the color, we're using this color. So nothing new here. Save it. Go to our web browser and hit refresh. Okay, now let's tick. Awesome. So we just got a new icon in tick and in the color that we want. Also, if you want to test and walk around with this, again, you can click on this one and you can play around here. All right, changing position, changing font size and changing the color, whatever you want. So now, as you can see, without much knowledge about HTML and CSS, it's easy for you to understand and you definitely can do this and apply the same thing to any website that you want to build. Next, we're going to add some cool icons into our app. And for that, I would recommend to use Font Awesome. This is a library of a bunch of nice icons. So for example, you can click here. And if you want to add this icon, for example, all you need to do is just copy this line. All right and put it into the way you want to display it. Now to get started, just click on get started and just copy this line. And as is mentioned, just paste the following code into the head session of your site HTML. Back to our project, under app, views, layouts, open application.html.erb. And I'll just paste this under here. All right, save it. And now you're ready to go. So for example, if I want to insert an icon of envelope, so I'll just click here, and all I need to do is just copy this line. In our project folder, under app, views, open share, and click on navbar.html.erb. All right, so under here, we're going to create a new li. Right, so we can say paste this one, and here we're going to say message. All right, now I can put an A here. All right, again, we're going to copy and create another one, and this one say become the host. Yeah, and I'm going to change this one with another icon. And I know that icon 
that I want to use corn, right? And I'm going to say f uh, latch for the latch side. Back to our web browser and hit refresh. Okay, so now as you can see on the nav bar, we got the message and we're going to become a host link. And also, we got a very nice icon of envelope and homes here. Beautiful. All right, so we just finished task four. I hope you enjoy it and feel a bit confident in working with Rails controller as well as the CLS and icons. All right, and I'll see you in the next challenge.